Okay. Uh, next problem. Car A and B are traveling in adjacent lanes along a straight road. In figure 1.2. So, ayan yun. 1.2. Makita naman natin. At a time zero, their positions and speeds are shown in the diagram. If, if car A has a constant acceleration of 0.6 meter per second squared, and car B has a constant deceleration of 0. 46 meter per, uh, 0 0.46 meters per second squared, determine when A will overtake B. Okay, so ibig sabihin, yung isa is paabante, yung isa is almost paatras. Well, hindi siya paatras talaga. Umaatras lang siya dahil bumabagal siya. Dahil nga meron siyang deceleration. Yung isa, acceleration, kaya siya umaabante, pabilis ng pabilis. Okay, so para mas makatulong, naggawa rin ako dito ng figure na makaka-help sa atin. So, ito yung tawagin natin si car A. Top view to, ah. Top view. Tapos, car B. Okay. So, almost same pa rin to kagaya kanina kasi they would meet. Kanina, nasa y-axis lang tayo dahil pre-fall yun. But, ito ay ah, uniform accelerated motion kaya nasa x-axis tayo. So, at this point, pwede natin gawin since na ituro na natin dun sa unang part is S1 and S2 pa rin. Okay? S1 and ito ay S2 pa rin. Then, they have 30 meters. So, if may ganyan na tayo, pwede na natin makuha pa rin yung uh, equation natin na S1 plus S2 is equal to 30. Okay? Then, S1, ito yung trinavel ni A, yung S2, yan yung trinavel ni B. Then, gamitin lang natin yung equation na natin na SVO T plus minus 1 half 80 square. So, kung meron na tayong ganyan, Pwede natin gamitin yon So, S1 is equal to initial velocity niya, 13 meters per second. Then, wala siyang given a time. Plus, okay? So, dahil pa kanan siya, plus 1 half times acceleration na binigay sa kanya, 0 0.6. 0 0.6 times time squared. Okay? Then, S2 is equal to initial, uh, initial velocity niya, 20 times t. Dahil hindi rin natin alam yung time. Then, minus. Dahil siya ay nag-decelerate. Okay? Remember, deceleration siya. Then, 1 half times acceleration niya, or I mean deceleration niya, 0 0.46 times t square. Okay, so kung meron na tayong ganyan, again, balik lang tayo dito. Substitute na natin yan dun sa first equation natin. Okay? Now, so, meron tayong S1 na 13T plus 1 half times 0.6T square. Lagyan natin ang bracket. Plus 20T minus 1 half 0.46T square bracket equal to 30. So guys, naituro ko na sa inyo kung paano natin ito gagamitin sa calculator. So, the answer will be, question lang natin is when A will overtake B. So, answer is 0 0.91 second. Go ahead guys, pwede nyo i-calculator to kung hindi kayo niniwala sa akin. Kung wala kayong tiwala, may trust issues kayo sa mga dati yung girlfriend, sa mga dati yung boyfriend. Okay, okay lang, walang kaso sa akin, basta lang sa akin lang, yan ang tamang sagot. Okay? So, we're good? Good pa? Then, let's move to another problem.